Okay, another nighttime test here. This GH5S camera, standard video settings, uh, FHD 60p, 30th of a second shutter, ISO is 12,800. Welcome into Big Dipper, kind of standing on its uh, what bucket and the ladle handles above. That's the Big Dipper here. 12,800 is the ISO. If I swing over to here, uh, that's part of Leo. There, okay, there's the backwards question mark of Leo and the triangle. It actually shows up pretty nice. And then if we go over here, uh, we got Arcturus there in the center. And uh, the kite shaped thing would be there if it shows up. And then I'll go down to uh, Spica, which must be there. And then Jupiter is there. By the way, I've got a Whitelander Nocton 17.5mm f.95, and I'm set to 0.95 right now. There's a street light. Anything else? Uh, there are too many other stars out here. This is a city pan, by the way, so I'll we'll just kind of sprinkle back over slowly. Back to that Big Dipper. There's Leo again right there. And we'll go back to the uh, Big Dipper. There's a plane. And while we're at it, let's tinker with the ISO. So that's 12,800, right? Where's the button? Right there. So if I go 25,600, that's probably too bright because I don't think I'm picking up any more stars. 51,200, that's max on the camera. 102,400, and that's the max, 204,800. So we're going to dial this back to, where was I? This one? 12,008. And let's go just right down here for down the street. So that's probably brighter than what, no, oh, it's about the same as what I can see. No, it's brighter. Check that up from 12,008 to 25,600, which is pretty bright. 51,200. Looks like daylight now. 102,400. 204,800. Hey, it's almost like an A7S, man. Go back to 25,600. 30 to the second shutter. If I play with the shutter, it's 30, 40, 50, 60. I don't think I need 60 to do this, though. 30 should be adequate. So anyway, back to that Big Dipper again. This guy looks a little bit too blue. Get that ISO back down to 12,008 right there. And we're going to call that a wrap, okay?